go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Zagartastic stream. It is I, your friend, the one, the only, Z A single go Zagard, Zagard. And I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, noon, night, evening, whatever time it is for you today. Welcome back to the Dragon's Den, my friends. And it is a wonderful Wednesday with some awesome fan art from you, the community. And we're going to go look into that right after we take some messages from our fans in the chat and say hello to our good friend, the Mythology Guy, a.k.a. Andrew. Hello. And hello, howdy doondy, uh, howdy dandy do, folks. Howdy dandy do? That, that's what they said. Tis I, the dumbest of dumb posts, here once again to see Andrew and Shane completely fail at my guessing game. Or <laughs> succeed. Every week is different. Hello, Tokoyami fan. Welcome back. Welcome. I hope you're all having a good time. And let's go into... No, that's tier list, not fan art. You fool. You fool. You, you are... imbecile. And let's just uh, set it up so that way you can actually see. Bada bing, bada boom. And here's the first one. Eh... And let's see, they said that this one is a uh, tier reference sheet thingy. It's tier, the god of whore. The god of whore? Yeah, the god of whore. The god of whore. So, I, you know, you can tell it's tier because he's missing his little uh, his little stub hand. Yep. And, uh, Look at him, he, 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 like, he just looks so, like, out of it. <laughs> just looks like, I'm, I'm so, done. Uh... I'm done. I can't play my PS5 anymore. Yeah, I can't play the new God of War, Just so I'm got done. It. Just got it. Can't play it. Can't play. I'm in the new God of War and I can't even play it. Yeah, I'm done. I quit, guys. Oh, boo. And uh, him with uh, Fenrir, which doesn't really make sense, but, you know, it's a cute you know, idea. Some people say, like, he and Fenrir had a little bit of a bond because, like, you know, like, I mean, like, Fenrir had him put his hand in his mouth, like, and then they betrayed Fenrir's trust, ultimately. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's more because, uh, Tyr was a just, honorable person. Yeah. That's, that's saying they had a bond is just kind of like a... To me, to me, that's just kind of putting our modern ideas on the story, when in mythology, it's better to have characters who act like, you know... Well, Shane, maybe that's just his childhood puppy that just happens to have the same name. Oh, yeah, sure. The total, yeah, that's totally what it could be. No, because you see, F the Fenrir we know starts with a capital F, but this is lowercase f Fenrir. Oh, okay, that, that explains yeah, you it. See, you see? If yeah. Andrew gets these wrong, I'll just be, uh, it'll just be three more to add to the Dum Dum deck. <laughs> Dum Dum's really proud of every time I haven't been able to guess one of theirs. Uh, and then this is a picture they said, uh, how I imagine Jormungandr and the Kraken. <laughs> Could be, actually. So? I mean, that makes sense. They're like the two biggest beings in the ocean. Maybe they hang out. Yeah, that was... So, oh, how's my old friend Jorm doing? Uh, not Kraken. It's been a while. Didn't tell him before. <laughs> Didn't I tell him before not to touch my darn face? <laughs> Why, why is the Kraken squinting? He looks like he's trying to kill him. He's like, ah, oh, where can I go? Well, what the is water that? is very salty today. Oh, that makes sense. That's why Jorman Gondor is all white. <laughs> oh, God. And, oh, uh... What is this? Oh, it's it's Loki and Sijin. Yeah, and the tagline oh. for this is, when you thought killing Baldur was a good idea. Yeah, because you see what happened, you see what's going on underneath with yep. the dog yep. and the dead boy. Those are his two sons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, the gods, like, as part of the punishment, they, yeah, they had one son kill the other, and then they used the dead one's guts to tie him down. Yeah, that's Norse mythology for you. The snake, that's... What's interesting is the snake's poison drops on Loki's face and burns him like acid, so Sijin holds a cup to, like, so that the acid won't touch him, but when the cup fills, she has to pour it out, and then the acid still touches him. What I'm uh, two things. One, what the hell kind of cup is that that acid doesn't burn through it? And two, why don't you just set up a little system, like set up a little ramp over his face where the acid will will go down it. Uh, and three, how is the snake producing infinite venom? <laughs> yeah, because that snake's not dead or anything. That snake's just hanging out up there. <laughs> yeah, what is it eating? What does it do to get the extra venom? Are they feeding it? It's just, it's an infinite snake. <laughs> uh, and then, 
This one is from our good friend, uh, Dum Dum. That's what I thought, yeah. Um, I don't know if this is for a is guessing game. Is this another guessing game? Is this a guessing game, Dum Dum? Are these more very lesser known Greek minor gods? Are you gonna hurt me, Dum Dum? <laughs> No, these are um, Mesopotamian Meso lesser gods. Oh, okay. No, we don't know. I just said that. They, uh, they're just my new PFP. New PFP. Profile picture. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, it's That's cute. That's cool. Yeah. It's a cute pick. Uh, is this another PFP? Yeah. Is that Aphrodite on the right? Because based on how Dum Dum's drawn Aphrodite before, I'm going to assume that's Aphrodite. Uh, they, I don't think there's any version that specifically says that they formed a bond, uh, in the myth that I know of. Yeah, I'm, it's not officially in myth, it's just something people like to think. And it's, it's a nice fan theory, I like it. If that's your headcanon, good for you. I have plenty of headcanon yeah, about other stuff. Like, it makes the betrayal all the more tragic or something. Um, to me it actually makes it more, you know, it, ma it makes it better, because then the character followed his beliefs even though he knew it would be detrimental to himself. For me, that's my thing, and I like this. Is you did a pretty good job this with is the very eyes. Very nice, yeah. I, I if 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 this is what I think is that Hephaestus on the left and Aphrodite on the right, and if it is, who's that in the middle? I think that's supposed to be her if she was the children of these oh, two. Oh yeah, is that Dum Dum herself? <laughs> For a second, I was like, is that Hephaestus's other wife, the Charity? Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, I think this is the guessing game. Uh, now we're in the guessing game. And they said they are all Roman. All Roman now. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so that's uh, Stevonicus, uh, uh, Jessonica, uh, Lizonica, and uh, uh -huh. and Hillary. All right. Um, are are we talking major gods or minor gods? Uh. Doesn't say. Okay. So, but it took her under a half an hour to draw all this, so really oh, good wow. job. Dum Dum's really, uh, really going up the totem pole. You're really working on your drawing, uh, your drawing skills, and uh, it shows. Yeah. I have no idea you I randomly the, pulled them. The goddess on the left reminds me of, like, a Little Mermaid character. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. All right. Um, on the right, I, I don't know, one of the goddesses that comes to mind is Juno. That's uh, so Hera's uh, half. Yeah. And in the middle, is that Venus? Um, yeah, maybe not, because uh, Dum Dum usually draws Aphrodite with much longer, blonder hair. So Are there any telling features that we can... Mm, there's not a lot about the Roman gods specifically, is there? Uh, that we can... it's, it's hard to say. I haven't looked as deep into it as I have in Greek. I, I mainly, when I look at Roman, I try to look at the things that are exclusive to Roman, so I'm not just reading the same stories again. So, you know, I like characters like Janus or Terminus or Lupa. Um, well, then... I, I'm certain that the girl in the middle, that that thing around her arm is a hint as to who she is. Well, the Nor uh, according to Tokuyami, the Norse gods are a-holes who totally got what was coming to them, and their favorite character is Fenrir. Anyone whose favorite character is Fenrir would very much think that. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Is there anything in Greek mytho or Norse mythology that says that they deserve Ragnarok? Well, uh, like some people saying, it, it is douchey that what they did to Fenrir because Fenrir. Uh, there are versions of the story where Fenrir actually wasn't a rampaging wolf; he was just a wolf hanging out. But it was predicted that he could become one, so that's why they tied him down. So people are saying that was douchey of them because they they punished him for what he might do versus what he did do. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that is a little unfair, but... And uh, some people also say, which is probably true, that Loki's punishment was a little over the top. Like, you can, you can punish Loki for what he did to Balder, but killing his son was a little messed up. His son I think, had nothing to do with yeah, it. Yeah, I think it is messed up, but my... In my brain, the only reason that logic works is because Loki is such a trickster that the only way to hold him down was with these yeah, magic with his guts. Kid's own entrails. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that makes it okay. I'm just saying that's that makes it equally as bad as what he did. I'm really curious as to who these goddesses are supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, so who... I, I don't think we can guess who they are. So yeah, don't I, know. I don't think we're going to get it. Um. So, yeah, I mean, my only slight guesses are... 
Could be that maybe the one on the right is Juno. Uh, they said uh, she said no Juno or Venus. No Juno or Venus. Yeah, I I'm guessing you've got some. Okay. Um, since you said they're Roman, I, I wonder if any of these are supposed to be Bellana. The left one is typically portrayed nude. They said. Oh. Hey, Venus is typically portrayed nude. <laughs> yes, I did know male bees di uh, uh, died after mating. Yep. The, Welcome not back, only Crimson do they Armor. they die, their testicles explode. Yeah, their dick breaks off, which is oh, man. to the, be a these bee. Are very, these are very good RPs. I feel like Dum Dum has gotten into the territory of characters who are so obscure that I'm not going to get any of them anymore. Remember when we used to get them all right? Yeah. <laughs> remember those days? I remember the good old days. The good old days before Dum Dum got too smart da -da 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 -da. <laughs> And then it just fades to a flashback of a previous episode. Dum Dum's going to be the next... Dum Dum's after my job. Dum Dum's going to become the mythology gal. She's going to take over. <laughs> uh, all their names start with A. Oh, is that so? To be a male bee truly is Honey Nut Cheerio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Ha, 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 ha. Um, I've seen that meme a hundred times. Uh, so there's no Bolana. Yeah, no Bolana. Uh, Can you tell us at least one of them? I don't think I'm getting this. <laughs> Dum Dum, I think you've beaten me again. <laughs> yeah, you've defeated us. You, you have officially... In my defense, you probably took time to do research, whereas I'm just like, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not looking at my phone because yeah, th that would be cheating. This isn't like, <laughs> uh, this isn't like, are you smarter than the fifth grader where they have the fifth graders study some of this stuff beforehand. <laughs> uh, Arth Ar Arthusa on the left. Arthusa. Okay. The middle one, we got Elamona. And on the right is uh, Adania. Okay. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know who those are. So I'm very ashamed. Or Adiana. And I'm going to have to turn in my title as the mythology guy. Oh, guys, that means no more mythology <laughs> videos. You can you, play. You don't know how much it shames me to be in this position right now. <laughs> uh, you know, this is a... Uh, you know, you, because of you guys, uh, mythology guy is going to shut down his channel, deleting all his videos. No more yeah, immortals. I'm, I'm canceling myself. <laughs> yeah, because he failed at this guessing game. You guys can blame no, Domino for... Like, as usual, wonderful art, Dum Dum. You really should, like, maybe try to make, like, I don't know, like a a, a goddess like compendium or coloring book or something, because you're good at it. That that would be a good idea. I think that would be a good idea. A uh, mythology guy going to become a pumpkin spice now. <laughs> Only shows up seasonally. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, hey, what's this? Uh, this one, uh, someone said it's a drawing, uh, a gift making as a gift for someone. And it's a picture of Sijin, uh, ah. Sijin. Ah, um, Sijin, Hell, and Freya. And, uh, who's oh, the... Oh, is that, is that supposed to be Freya crying? This is up Thea. On the upper left? Uh, no, it looks or, like oh, she's no, smiling. Oh, no, she's happy. Okay, I, I, I missaw it. It looked like she was wailing for a second there. Uh, there's yeah, grass. So Go touch grass. As we mentioned earlier, Sijin is Loki's wife. Hell is his daughter. Freya has no connection to Loki, except that he cut her hair. Or, no, wait, that wasn't even Freya. That was so. Um, so, yeah, so it's just it's just the Norse ladies hanging out. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. And Dum Dum, uh, Lily said we missed her comic, which don't count your chickens before they hatch because I have them right here at the top. Hey, there See, they are. I had it planned. Now, Andrew, All if you right. would like to do the honors. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> See that guy? That's me. I'm done with my task for the day, Lord Zeus. Very well, Amelin. You may go home so that I may beg many women. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. <clears throat> I'm a patron to the gods. Splash. But I have a secret. Oh, my God. I'm a girl. <gasps> oh, my God. A woman in the Chinese army? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! Dishonor! <laughs> You've dishonored us all. My real name is... Oh, Amalthea! Oh, the goat who raised Zeus. Interesting. Or maybe you're just named after the goat, because it says I'm the daughter of a rich king. <laughs> my mother was an air nymph. I took after my mother. Ah, so you're more nymphy. See, my being and... 
and looking the way I was, I was prime marriage material. I would see. I can see why you wouldn't want Zeus to know you're an attractive woman. Yeah, fair, <laughs> fair. very fair. <laughs> Eventually, my father chose for me a husband worthy of a woman of my noble status. No, not him, Prince Creos, age 20. Him, King... I'm not sure what that says. Aranus, uh, it looks like it says A-M-O-E. Amo? Is that prince named after the Titan, Creos? <laughs> okay, so King Amos, let's say, age 50. So I did the only logical thing. You cut your hair, but haven't you seen what happened to Samson when the hair is cut? <laughs> oh, yeah. All he of became your powers. weak. <laughs> uh, the reason why Mimir is a talking head is a dick move on Odin? Not really. I, 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 You know what's funny about this? I cut off my hair and then used my powers to shapeshift into a guy. I love that your powers can apparently shapeshift every part of you except your hair. <laughs> it's like, no, nope, had to cut that. <laughs> yeah, the, ha the hair is a the weakness. Ha the hair is unaffected. And I abandoned my old life as a princess. I go by Amelin in public, and I got a job as patron to the gods. I wonder how easy that was. You think the gods just have a help wanted sign? <laughs> yeah, they've got like um, uh, the satyr. Uh, one of the satyrs just like the gods need help. Yeah, they need help because the last help got seduced by Zeus and then murdered by Hera. <laughs> and then their child became a Greek hero, and now they need help with the yeah. Greek hero. Now, don't get me wrong. I like being a girl, but I also like having rights. So Amalyn is who answers the door. And I think you also like avoiding Zeus's thunder sausage. Thunder sausage. That's <laughs> it. Got to put that on a shirt now. Thunder sausage. <laughs> I miss some things about being a princess, but freedom <clears throat> is nice, too. But I do still want to fall in love and get married someday. But I have no idea how, how or where I'm going to find a man I can trust with my secret. Oh, get together with Apollo. He won't care which form you're in. <laughs> Actually, don't. Then you'll become a fucking weed outside. On Mount Olympus. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. <laughs> My name is Eros. Ah, Eros. I'm the god of romantic love as well as the most beautiful god, but life isn't easy for me. See, I'm always expected to be so incredibly gorgeous. It's hard to be on all the time. Well, you're a god. It shouldn't be that hard. That's literally your magic ability. Shane, that's just what everyone assumes about gods. The truth is they're all actually born pretty ugly. Oh, so like Hephaestus. Even with my ex-wife, it was all about beauty. <gasps> no more Eros and Psyche. <laughs> Looking frantically beautiful. <laughs> it's all so difficult. I don't think there's anyone as tragic as me. Hey, Eros! Oh, that's gotta be Hermes. Hermes, idiot! Ares, also idiot! <laughs> nice to meet you. Have you met Amalin? He's our new patron. Ooh, I wonder where this is going. This beautiful male specimen is our patron. How can it be possible? The first thing I heard when I came here is thunder sausage. Should I be concerned? <laughs> you, no. That's just the mood we said. That's maybe. just the mood. Welcome, Wonderland fact, Normal. If, if Zeus was a stripper, his stripper name would be Grease Lightning. <laughs> yes, yes, it would. Grease him right out the door. Can it be I've found someone who will understand my woes and comfort me? Wow, Eros, you know, you were just talking about how everyone stereotypes you by your looks, and you literally ha have all this investment in someone purely based on their looks. I'm, uh, I'm smelling a little bit of hypocrisy here. Yeah, Eros, this is kind of unfair. This is, you're, you're being an ass. Honestly, I think he might be better looking than you. Oh, are we doing another? I dare say she puts effort. To shit. Better, yeah, better looking than me. I will not stand for that. Now I shall have no choice but to smite Amal. Amalthea became a guy so she wouldn't have to deal with this petty crap. And little did she know, she still has to put up with this petty crap. Yeah, it's the gods. They don't care if you're a boy or a girl. They just care if you're seduced by Zeus or not. <laughs> 
I am nothing if not merciful, so you're nothing. <laughs> so I shall wait until nightfall to, and smite Amelin while he sleeps. That's creepy. It, this, you're waiting till he goes to sleep? This feels like a reverse of the Arrow Psyche story, because remember, she tried to stab him in his oh, sleep. Oh, yeah, true. And then she saw who he really was. I'll bet that's what's going to happen. He's going to see Amelin as Amalthea. Ah, this must be his bedroom. Walks into the wrong bedroom. <laughs> Alas, fair Amelin, our friendship would have been legendary. How do you know that? But now you must die. Once I saw our friendship would be legendary, it made me think of the meme from All Kung I Fu Panda. <laughs> yeah, actually. All I could think when he said that was, and now, Skywalker, you will die. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> Wait, what? A woman <laughs> in the Chinese army. But why? What do you mean, why? Why are you a woman? <laughs> well, I just figured one day, you know, it was the man thing wasn't for me. <laughs> That's a very interesting way of looking. Amelin, as far as I know, has no wife or family to speak of. Could it be that this is... Stranger danger! <laughs> oh no. I wake up with the god of love looming over me. He was so much more beautiful up close. I want to tell him he's breathtaking. And then he strangles her. <laughs> ah! I'm not that good at communication. Wait, but you're the patron of the gods. That's like your whole thing. <laughs> your whole job is communication. <laughs> Even so, all gods are deadly, no matter how beautiful. That's not true. Hestia isn't deadly. I don't know. I think she could burn you with her uh, hearth. No, well, that's only if you suck. Now, dots. I'm going to move my hand. Do you promise not to scream? This is creepy. <laughs> Please do not scream. I promise you, I will do you no harm. But if you scream, it will complicate matters. That's that's not creepy. Okay. I figure telling Eros my secret doesn't matter since he's already figured it out. Really nice logic. So your real name is Amalthea. That's right. And you being half nymph gives you the power to shapeshift. Yeah, everything but my hair. <laughs> uh-huh. So you aren't really a man. Nope. Well, then I have no interest anymore. And then he killed her, and that's why the comic and ends. Then all of reality ended. It yeah, just all... became whiteness. It just became whiteness a blank... Whiteness with a slight stain a, a, a blank background. You see, Eros's concept of reality was so challenged by this that reality yeah stopped. reality just broke just no more of it no more reality i don't want to be seen just by my uh, good looks but i'm not saying you should not see how good i am <laughs> <laughs> nice it shane there's no more reality dogs and cats and living, living together, together. <laughs> Salute, All gods are deadly, especially the bean dude. Ah. Oh, yeah, the great god the, Chiamides. The, the you don't Lord know the places he's been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They said they never finished the comic. I, I, You know, I figured that out based on the last two panels. Oh, you didn't finish? I thought this reality ending was, uh, was really strong. It would have been an interesting thing reality. if you just said then that's where reality just broke. Yeah. That would and be really. That was the end of all things. And the end of all things was the revelation that Amalthea was not a man, but what, a woe what man. A lovely story, a tale of murder, revenge. Not bad, worse, just creepy, worse. <laughs> that was their next event, true. The nexus event all right so that's all the fan art from this uh this week i believe okay if anybody has anything more let us know in the chat please tell us now or forever hold your pen in the air because you cannot draw something and then finish it if anyone has a reason why these two kingdoms should not battle speak now or forever hold your war <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very interesting way of doing that anyways Guys, that's the end of the fan art for this week. I hope to see you all next week. Please send any sort of fan art you have to my Twitter, to my Discord, to uh, the Mythology Guys Discord. We have channels ready for you to send us fan art so we can show it here live on stream. Look at the beautiful pictures. Make sure it is fan art of us, not just art that you drew that you were like, I, I drew a picture of myself as a dragon. Like, make sure it's actual fan art. All right, guys. Anyways, we'll see you all next week.
awesome Have a wonderful day. Today. Yeah, we had great fan art. Anyway, yeah, so are we going to take a little break before the Dooms? Uh, yeah, we're going to take a quick break so I can reset everything up right before we play some Doom Eternal. Yep. So we're going to go on a quick breaky bye, and we'll see you in about two minutes. Hey friends, this was a clip from the Wednesday streams with Zaggard and the Mythology Guy. If you want to add your fan art to our weekly stream, then click the link in the description below and join our Discord with over 500 members, or send them directly to my Twitter page. If you want to hop in live, join our stream over at twitch.tv slash Zaggard. That's twitch.tv slash Zaggard. See you there.